downtown Knoxville as we are getting ready for the 94th Knoxville Veterans Parade. We're so glad that you can join us. Bo Williams, Tiersa Smith, Mike Testerman with the American Legion Post 2. That's right. As a matter of fact, opening ceremonies are now underway here along Gay Street. Let's join in. KPD Honor Guard. Camps was performed by Dan Maxwell. We would like to introduce our parade reviewing officer, Colonel James Reed. Colonel, could you please uh, what, raise your hand? Sh uh, there you, our reviewing officer. Thank you very much, sir.
The UTK Army ROTC Dragoon Color Guard Detachment 800. Now approaching the reviewing stand, the Knoxville Fire Department, engine number five. Veterans Parade now officially underway. You've been watching the opening ceremonies here along Gay Street in downtown. The UT ROTC Dragoons with the Flag Corps, the invocation from Captain Steve Sword, the anthem beautifully done Absolutely. by the CAK Choir. Absolutely. A Vietnam era Huey helicopter will perform that flyover and the Christian Academy of Knoxville, like we said, their choir performing the national anthem. It has been a beautiful start on what is a beautiful day for this parade. Yeah, absolutely beautiful. Mike, again, Great to have you back. We promised you nice weather after last <laughs> That's right. year. Absolutely. That was the only stipulation whether or not Mike would come back. We said has to have some sunshine. Yeah, beautiful day. Can't ask for a better day for a parade and a great turnout so far today. Great. great. Oh, go ahead. I was say great to see all of our first yep. responders here for the city of Knoxville, Knox County, uh, leading off the, the start of this parade. We have the Knoxville Fire Department. Uh, we saw some of the sheriff's uh, 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 motorcycle right. officers uh, out at the beginning, and now Knoxville Volunteer Rescue Squad. That's right. 60 years of service to the Knoxville area. Great to have them on board. As you mentioned, KFD here established in 1854, THP 1929, KPD 1802, and Knox County Sheriff's 1792. I want to give them all some shout outs there. Yes. Protecting us for a very, very long time here in Knoxville. You have to make a note of the turnout we have for this parade mm -hmm. this year. Gay Street is filled with people out to pay their respects and say thank you for your service uh, to our local military uh, uh, personnel and, and folks that are here uh, for today's event. Great turnout here from Webb School of Knoxville, the lower school uh, Cub Scouts and Girl Scouts. These are grades two through five. Great to have them out here on this absolutely beautiful day. They look absolutely oh, yeah. fantastic. And we can actually see their uniforms. Sometimes it's so cold, they've got the heavy coats on. You know, we're like, are you a Boy Scout, a yeah. Cub Scout? Are you, you know, Not sure who's who out there. Exactly. This is but awesome, too. No problems today, as again, and they've got the flags, and they're handing out flags to members of the crowd here as they make their way down. This is a huge group. This is a huge group. Yeah. Wonderful to see them out together. So again, happy to have them out here today. A great chance to kind of get out and, and really learn a little bit as well. I mean, there's a lot of history here. We don't want our younger generation to lose sight. Uh, we, we had mentioned through a lot of these people, it's almost like ancient history, looking back That's at right. some of the, the it, past conflicts and what we have done overseas. It really is. It's, it's sad to see sometimes how quickly we forget of what has happened. Mm -hmm. But it is a great sight to see all the young people out here and see their members of the American Legion, different people coming out and being with us at this time. And, Come out and just being a part of the parade and learn a little bit more of our history. Speaking of the American Legion, thank you for everything you guys do at American Legion Post, Post 2. Without you guys, this isn't happening. You guys have been doing this for a long time. 94, year, 94 plus yep. years. The American Legion turned 100 this year and was formed in 1919. Uh, Post 2 was uh, formed in July the 2nd, 1919. Wow. That's one of our Gold Star mothers going by right there, Miss yep. Sherry McGee, who is also an uh, American Legion Post member. And up next, we have the South Doyle High School Army uh, Junior ROTC. South Doyle High School Army ROTC Cherokee Battalion yeah. since 1994. Great to have them here. We're going to have a number of these groups as well from the different high schools that are going to be out here marching and presenting today. So, again, great to have them out here as well. But uh, just can't get over how beautiful it is out here right now. And the South Doyle ROTC is trying to set a world record coming really? up this spring for the largest retirement of flags at one time. Oh, really? Wow. They're collecting flags and looking for anybody that has a flag that needs retirement, we can bring it to them. Knox County Law Director, Bud Armstrong, making his way down Gay Street as well. Love to see some of the older cars that we have. I mean, we have all these different car clubs that will be taking part as well. Right. But, um, just a lot of vintage cars and a lot of... You said there's eight marching bands this year? Yes, sir. Okay. You'll hear them. You can hear more yeah. coming. They're making coming. their way. Knox County Farm Bureau Women's Group. Glad to have them on board, dedicated to the education of agriculture. Helping out so many here, giving back to our area. Number of veterans on the float there, as you see coming by. You're going to see a lot of different types of floats. A lot of imagination oh, going yeah. into some of these. Well, maybe uh, Lady Liberty, Liberty action <laughs> going like on. It. I like it. <laughs> see, 
the CBs coming into, into view here in just a second. I always think of the John uh, Wayne movie, The Fighting Seabees. Right. But, uh, boy, what these uh, veterans did overseas uh, sometimes get lost a little bit. But without them out there building, doing the construction, getting everything ready uh, and, and under some pretty harsh conditions. Right. Absolutely. A lot of times people didn't realize that they went in first to actually build the runways and yep. clear landing zones for us. American Legion Post 52 making their way out of Morristown, Tennessee. Yep. Hey, the Hardin Valley Band. Oh, yes. First of eight bands we're going to see today. Now, if you look close, and you really got to look, because I even asked the father, and he was like, I can't even find my son. Okay. They got those hats. Last name's Weathers. That's all I'm going to say. Oh, okay. <laughs> Ethan Weathers, the son of our own Ken Weathers, member of the band out here today marching. Go Hawks. Yeah. You, what, you know, you see these marching bands, the work they put in. I think people forget. You know, we talk about in August when football teams right. are going through two days. These guys and girls are going through like three a days, and they're not on the field. Many times they're on the, the parking lot. That's right. And the amount of time they put in really is, is absolutely unbelievable. 278th Armored Cavalry coming down Gay Street right now. Always a, a great sight to see. That's also our Grand Marshal Mark That's Rogan. right. Riding with the 278 today. And we want to send things over now to Don Dare, who's on the sidelines for us uh, as this parade is underway. Don. Hi, Tiersa and Bo. You know, many people uh, are all along the parade route. Look at this crowd right here, all the way down. What, that's a half a mile, and all the way down the other way. Young people, old people. And, you know, veterans feel a, a big sense of pride when, when so many people turn out like this. They also have a sense of pride of being in the military as well in the armed forces. And with me right now is John Sinkankas, and you were in the Navy, and what do you think of this turnout today? I think it's fantastic. I really do. I kind of wish it would march the other direction, though, because everybody wants to take a picture, and the sun is to the back of the people, and all you see is a black face. Cause well, you, yeah. You but, know what I mean? If it came from the other direction, it'd be better. What do you think about, though, people turning out to honor I think them? it's wonderful. I mean, I, I'd be honest with you. I've lived in a lot of big cities, uh, San Diego, L.A., and Seattle, and the, when you take the population and look at how many... I mean, in Seattle, Washington, this is how many people would turn out. And it's a town of four million people, for God's sake. So Knoxville's pretty damn patriotic. Well, a lot of people have a lot of feelings for, for veterans here. And right behind you is uh, Emily Brooks. And Emily, you have your kids out here today. What do you want them to learn? I want them to learn to respect our veterans and a sense of pride about our country. And who do we have here? Uh, well, we've got twins, so hang on a second. James. This is James, and that's Everett, and this is my son, Baker. My daughter was in the parade with her American Heritage Girls troop. Well, good. Thank you very much, Emily Thank Brooks. You. And that's what this is kind of about. Veterans Day is a day that we respect veterans, of course, and we honor their service, but it's also a history lesson for so many young people. Back to you, Bo and Tearson. All right, thank you so much, Don. Don Dare uh, going to be uh, joining us throughout the uh, throughout the parade today. Want to give thanks to Don. Don, a veteran Absolutely. in his own right, and Vietnam obviously want to recognize him and all of his efforts today. We just saw the Air Force go by a little while ago. I want to give them a shout out as well. Right. They look great. Yeah, yep. got a really good crew and big big bunch of them today. Now, Mike, you were saying this each year it's a different branch that we focus on. This year it's the Army, but obviously all branches are involved in the parade. Yes, sir. Yeah, this is the year of the Army, and uh, next year I think it is the Air Force, and uh, we. Uh, Represent one each coming in for our veterans dinner each on a Friday and then get to represent them here in the parade. Fantastic. I think that was a DAV that just went by? Yes, that was the Depart uh, Daughters Department of the American. Yeah, they have the uh, oh. Disabled American yep. Veterans that just went by and then uh, they had the Bonnie Kate uh, yep. National Service of the Daughters of the American Revolution. 
Oh, and this is always one of my favorite. The Scottish That's American weird. Military yes. Society Post 328. Dressed in full gear and, and just a beautiful got the, sight. Got the kilts on yes. today. That's okay. As high as warm right. as it is. We're, <laughs> might be a little jealous. <laughs> yeah. It's very hot out here. Yeah. All of it. It's burning up. The American Heritage Girls making their way. They got a nice size group there singing. Yep. Christian Scouting Group for Girls. Mission is to build women of integrity through service to God, family, and community. Like you said, a large group out yes. here today. It's great to see that. This is perfect weather for, we have so many youth groups that are out. Yep. And if you walk along Gay Street, you'll see so many of our older veterans. Mm -hmm. um, and it's great to see them, to, to put a face with history that they, all these kids are learning in school. Yeah, and Absolutely. hopefully interact, too, as they're right. going along. I know we saw some groups handing out flags, but right. a chance to kind of talk for a moment, shake a hand, say thank you. and you know. That's always a great thing for the veterans to just have a get to spend that little bit of time with the kids and talk to them and uh, share them share their experiences with them smoky mountain service dogs great to have them here as well providing that custom trained mobility assistance uh, dogs to, to wounded veterans i've done stories on yeah. them before they are a fantastic group they train these animals to help out veterans so that they can have um, a very normal way of life to get back into society and be able to um just get around uh without some of the issues that they do face if they did not have that service dog yeah we've seen that with dogs we have seen groups so uh, uh, using uh, horses right uh, it's, it, it really is amazing what they're able to do well you know we talked to Don Dare a few moments ago uh, along the parade route you know our own Doug Curran is out about as well that's right let's send things over to him Doug hey Tirsa hey Bo we're lining up here on church and we're near the Coliseum over here you've got Fulton High School JROTC they're getting ready things uh, getting things ready to go we have the parade starting back here but here's the star of the show. I want you to come over here and meet Emerson. He is over here throwing leaves at his mama. <laughs> How you doing, little man? Can you say hi? Oh, hello. He was much talkative earlier. Mm -hmm. How are you, Mom? We're doing great. Enjoying it immensely. Which made you come out this week? Um, actually, we have a lot of military family, and uh, my husband is actually part of the road crew that closes the streets off, so we enjoy coming out here and celebrating our veterans. His daddy was a sergeant in the Army. Really? Yep. Very good. Well, thank you, Emerson. We appreciate you being here, buddy. You say thank you? Very good. Good man. Cheers, so Bo, back to you guys. We'll check in with you soon. All right, Doug, thank you very much. Doug set up right there where the parade is kicking off over by the Civic Coliseum, talking to some of the uh, younger uh, uh, participants or those <laughs> yes. just kind of sitting on the sidelines there watching. So great to have him on board and great to get a chance to uh, see some of those uh, younger faces out there watching the parade. We just saw Honor Air yep. Knoxville go by as well as Morning Point of Powell. One of my favorite floats right there. I love this. Smoky oh, Mountain yes. Submarine Veterans. They're in it every year. Always glad to have them here. Don't you wonder where do they store that? <laughs> Where's that store? There's no garage big enough. No, right. it is absolutely fantastic, though. Great yard ornament. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. I love it. You said there's like five chapters in Tennessee for this group. Uh, something you wouldn't think being in a landlocked state when you right. think about submarines, but uh, there are five different chapters. Uh, this one was chartered uh, back in 2006. Right. Surprisingly, how many Navy veterans there are in this area? Exactly, right. exactly. Oh, just some of the many cars that oh, you yeah. will see from uh, old to new. Mm -hmm. yeah. I love it. That's when you get to sit back and daydream a little bit. So I'd like to have one of those. Yeah. <gasps> love this one right here with yeah. Jim McMichaels. It's a very beautiful car. Yeah, it is a great, great car there. Good to have Jim on board again. Again, can't say enough about the turnout. People were lining in, and we got here early, and they were already lining Gay They Street. were lined up and ready to go. Everybody had their American flags. Um, so great to see so many veterans also. Uh, you see those shirts, you know, marking where they served. Yep. Uh, and this is a good day. Bearden Junior ROTC, now or the Naval Junior ROTC joining us right now. The vision is to create confident young people who are prepared to make successful life decisions with the understanding that giving is not an option or that quitting is not an option so again great to have the kids from Bearden High School here and I know the Bearden High School marching band will be following them here shortly we will hear right. them very shortly it's great to see how the ROTC groups are actually growing now well, I, I was going to say that it seems like years past 
there was a lot there are a lot more kids that we're seeing I don't want to call them kids young adults that we're seeing yes. march through here uh, that are getting larger each year it seems like it I know uh, West has grown quite a yeah. bit they went from uh, at one point struggling to become an ROTC again right. because they had so few in the group now they're like 150 plus oh wow. my goodness. so it is really growing uh, the commanders and the leaders over these ROTC units are phenomenal right Colonel Woodcock with South Dole and right. several others here Chief Labello with West and uh, they are doing a phenomenal job with these young people. A lot of dedication. A lot of dedication to it, for sure. Oh, this one's fantastic coming up here. <laughs> We've got a, a John Deere tractor. Love it. With the Knoxville Area Veterans. they got a number of our veterans there in the back. Waving, giving the thumbs up. And that is an antique John Deere tractor that is pulling, uh, pulling those area veterans. <laughs> got a couple of them coming through here it's always so interesting yep. to, to speak with them and how humble everyone mm -hmm. is about their service and sacrifice a lot of them have seen things that many of us would never right. in our lifetime endure right. um, and they're always just so humble about it well as we mentioned Don Dare out and about kind of talking with members of the crowd getting a little bit more insight on the parade let's go over and check in with him right now well, you know, Bo, a lot of young men and women who served in Iraq and Afghanistan, they're in their 20s and 30s, some in their 40s. Uh, some, many of them left the military and are now in civilian life. And you know what? They're veterans. And with me right now is uh, two of these young men uh, who are gentlemen who served in Iraq and Afghanistan. And do you, uh, Carlton, do you have a, a sense of camaraderie um, among all those, even those veterans with gray hair? Uh, yes, I do, because uh, they were drafted. Some of them didn't have a choice. What we have now is a volunteer. So what you see now is a generation that we choose to go in. Yeah. We choose to go in, even the younger generation. When you choose to go into the military, you're honoring yourself, your country, your family, however you want to see it. You are just, you're a part of America. That's yeah. just plain and simple. Well, thank you for your service, and it is the a Navy service that you did. Yes, it is. And your partner here as well. This is Bobby Clemens. And, and Bobby, what do you think of what you see out here today honoring veterans like yourself? I just see young unity. Uh, I see camaraderie and uh, just people having a good time. And I just thank God for this opportunity to just share this time. And there is that sense of camaraderie among all the uh, younger and older guys, isn't it, and women? Yes, it is. Yes, and I just thank God for the veterans like yourself that went ahead of us and those veterans coming after us. I really thank God for this opportunity to just uh, spend time with you guys. Great. Bobby, thank you, and Carlton, thank you for your service in the Navy from an old Army guy anyway. <laughs> That's all right. We won't hold it against you. We're all in it together. <laughs> thank you very much, guys. Right, thank you. Yeah, and there is that real sense of camaraderie. It doesn't matter how old a veteran is, uh, that person, men or women, we serve, and, and that's what it's all about, serving our country and giving back. And back to you, Bo, and uh, Tearson. All right, Don, thank you very much. Don, getting a chance to talk with a number of the veterans here along the route. This has been a fantastic parade. We have seen uh, yep. Marines go by. There have been some fantastic floats. East Tennessee Veterans Honor Guard now making their way. Yep, earlier we saw Cades Cove Preservation Society. You mentioned the Marines, the Junior Marines That's also right. marched by. So it's great to have all of them here and taking part today. Oh, and I hear a band. Oh, our second band of the day is making its way in our direction. We're located, by the way, right by Visit Knoxville, give you an idea of where we are, kind of toward the end of Gay Street near the intersection there with the summit uh, to kind of give you an idea of where we are. And we appreciate Visit Knoxville letting us kind of invade their space right here for they a little bit. They do it every spot. year. <laughs> they do it every year, and they, we, we appreciate it very much. Here's the Marching Bulldogs from Beard and High School.
Again, that's the Beard High School Marching Band. Band directors Megan Christian and James Wilson. Glad to have them here. We're glad you're watching and spending your afternoon, your morning with us right now. That's right. As we say thank you to all of our veterans, we're going to take a quick break, but we'll be right back. It's starting to happen. Mike Davis here reminding you, dare to compare. I want to remind you that having maintenance is the number one thing you can do to keep your heating and air system running trouble free. When your system runs, it needs to be clean so it can cool efficiently. At City Heat and Air, our maintenance contract includes cleaning, 15% off repairs, and a 21-point inspection. If you need maintenance, give us a call. City Heat and Air, dare to compare. It's starting to happen every day. People are surprising themselves. The moment they realize they can do more with less asthma. Thanks to Dupixent, the add-on treatment for specific types of moderate to severe asthma. Dupixent isn't for sudden breathing problems. It can improve lung function for better breathing in as little as two weeks and help prevent severe asthma attacks. It's not a steroid, but can help reduce or eliminate oral steroids. Don't use if allergic to Dupixent. Serious allergic reactions can occur, including anaphylaxis, which is severe. Tell your doctor right away about signs of inflamed blood vessels, such as rash, shortness of breath, chest pain, tingling, or numbness in your limbs. Tell your doctor if you have a parasitic infection and before stopping any asthma medicines, including oral steroids. Do more with less asthma. Talk to your doctor about Dupixent. And welcome back to a beautiful day, downtown Knoxville for the 94th Veterans Day Parade. We are underway right now, passing is the LN STEM Academy, the STEM Punks robotics team. <laughs> fantastic group of kids they do amazing things they compete in competitions yep. all over the country it, but you know they even break it down I mean they're building robots but other members specializing in design uh, business management programming media uh, so much goes into that really a, an incredible group absolutely right down the street from us here yep. in the, the downtown Knoxville area again it's an absolutely beautiful day blue sky out here no need for umbrellas like we had a year from a year ago. <laughs> You're looking right now at the VFW Post 1733. Located here in Knoxville. That's right. Coming up behind them, I believe it's the Knoxville Military Vehicle Club. Is that right? So we got coming up next? Yes, sir. I believe so. Yeah. And this is really great. I mean, they restore a lot of these vintage military um, machines, if you will. And it's just, uh, just incredible the work they do. Really, it helps them stay connected to mm -hmm. their previous life in the military. <laughs> also, it lets uh, everybody around see the type of vehicles that they served in and what right. they yep. went through, and they can tell the stories about those type of vehicles. And, and it's rare sometimes through. a lot of us don't get a chance to get up close and see right. these, the, you know, these vehicles uh, up close in person like this. So. You got to think it's a lot of little boys and girls looking at these like, wow, this is real life, you know. <laughs> I only see these in cartoons or, or on TV. Yeah, or, or, I or I have a little truck at home, right? right. That I, yeah. <laughs> oh, do you hear those engines? Oh, yeah. Knoxville Blue Knights. The Blue Knights, yeah. There's a law enforcement motorcycle club. Several veteran members uh, take part in this and are, and are part of this organization, but glad to have them here. I think they like revving those engines just for the parade. <laughs> the one time of year they get to legally ride without a helmet. That's it. <laughs> See them stop there, kind of pausing for a moment. Now coming up behind them, I'll say listen for the horns. Oh yeah. Smoky Mountain <laughs> Model A Club. The best sound you will hear. Now, the Smoky Mountain Model A Club was founded in 1961 by a group of dedicated Model A enthusiasts. And they basically preserve and restore these old vehicles. Do you know the Model A was the, I was doing a little research. I, I don't say this here. just came off the top of my head, right? <laughs> was the first Ford to use the standard set of controls. So we're talking, you know, a conventional brake, clutch, throttle, gear shift, kind of how we know operate nice. cars now. So. Thank you for that little moment in history. Well, there you go. Uh, it's brought to you by. Uh... <laughs> 
More of those vehicles making their way, those horns sounding. Great day, got the tops down on. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> that one horn, I'm not so sure. I don't know if you can hear it at home, but there's one horn that may need a tune-up here, I think, when the, uh, when the parade's the over. Batteries run down on it or yeah, something. Yeah. something. I think it's great. Well, but the time and effort. Uh, and the money. To, it's a lot of it's an investment. It is, yeah, it is it an is. investment. It is. Expensive hobby. But the payoff, I mean, absolutely fantastic. You see them driving down the road. You, you can't help but do a double take. Yeah. You know, it really is cool. <laughs> Young folks in the back there with their flags. Mm -hmm. Yeah, a awesome lot of sight. little ones. Good look at the crowd again. Just I mean, packed. it's a packed house. It yeah. really is. Uh, what I what I can say though about Knoxville, whether it's rain, sunshine, yep. super cold, there's always a great crowd for this parade. Yep. Even last year with, with right. the heavy rains, uh, right. a lot of people uh, withstood the elements and, and, and stood out here and, and cheered on our veterans as they paraded down Gay Street. Hall's Crossroads uh, Women's League. And they're showcasing all types of vehicles uh, this morning. And as you can see, and what's so great, all of these different participants have different veterans on the back yeah. uh, that they know from the community. And we should note the Women's League founded on the idea of helping those in need. We do want to check back in with our own Doug Kerr, and he's back toward the start of the parade route. Doug? Hey, Bo, hey, it's here. So uh, there's a motorcycle or two around here, so you may have a little trouble hearing us. Uh, but the parade is well underway out here. We have lots of motorcycles. Harley Davidson, Honda, the Goldwing, everything you can imagine. We have some fans here who are here for Veterans Day. What's your name, bud? Evan. Evan, how old are you? 12 years old. Why did you want to come out here today? To support the veterans, to thank them for what they've been doing for us. You're a strong, you're a very smart kid, you know that, right? Thank Tell you. Tell me what your sign says. Thank you for your service. For your service veterans and you're here with your mom and your sister yes. great well thank you for coming out here you guys let's talk to mom real quick hi mom hey what's your name i'm jennifer hi jennifer what made y'all want to come out today and um, my dad was in the air force for 21 years so i grew up an air force brat and we just have such a deep appreciation for all of our friends and family who've served the country and we just love this is our 10th year coming out to the parade and thanking the veterans who are in it and supporting them, and we just love it. And you want to teach your kids about this, yeah? Absolutely. I feel like it's so important for them to understand and get to know the people who have risked their lives and served our country to make it what it is. Well, thank you so much, Jennifer. We thank appreciate y'all's time. Bo and Tiersa, we'll check in with you soon. All right, Doug, thank you very much. All right, uh, the Daughters of the American Revolution, Samuel Frazier chapter just went by on a 2019 Ford PU and flatbed trailer hauling some of those veterans. And now we have the Ben Ashley Tennessee State Veterans Home just making their way. Yeah, one of four veterans homes in Tennessee, uh, saving or working with serving veterans with uh, skilled nursing needs. And great to have uh, the Ben Ashley Tennessee State Veterans Home right here in our area, which is fantastic. You mentioned the uh, Daughters of the American Revolution coming through. There were a lot of groups oh, just yes. in East Tennessee. Absolutely. A uh, lot more people and a lot more groups like that and veterans in East Tennessee than a lot of people realize. Their buses are so beautifully wrapped yeah. with their insignia. Very, very well done every year. Again, we do want to go back to our own Don Dare right now along the parade route. He's been talking with a number of veterans this morning. Let's check back in with him right now. Well, Bo, thank you very much. I'm just talking to some folks back here. One of the, a group of people that we often forget on Veterans Day are the wives of veterans. And uh, here we have Pat Crato with us. And I understand uh, you and Neil were not married when he was uh, in the service, but what's it like being married to a veteran? Oh, it's wonderful. He's very patriotic, and he, we love to put out our flags, and 
thank other veterans for their service. My dad was a veteran, and so it's it's wonderful. Now you moved here in 1996 from up north, but is there a sense of difference back down here in the south about patriotism? I don't think so. I think when you find people that are patriotic, they're in all over the they're all over the country. We love to go to the veteran cemetery and see them put out the flags and the wreaths at Christmas, and it's it's very nice. And with you is Neil, and Neil, you served when? Uh, 1962 to 1965. So that's the Cold War, and that's in during Germany and, and yep. all of those crises, yep. too. Yep. I was over in South Korea on a MAG assignment, so we were with the Corps of Engineers helping them rebuild and rebuild walls and build um, roads, mm -hmm. what, Nike sites. What do you think of what you see here today? Oh, I love it. It's, uh, it's, in the last 25 years, it's grown tremendously. Yeah. It's probably 10 times what it was when we first moved here in 95. A lot of pride, isn't it? Yes, there? it is. Uh, someone else who is very proud of his service, and we don't talk about these veterans all that much, and that is uh, Conley Ballinger. You served in the occupation of Germany. What years? In the uh, early 50s. In the early 50s yeah. when Germany was being rebuilt. It was completely bombed out. A lot of unexploded bombs and then the combat engineers. And we uh, got rid of the bombs and helped rebuild uh, a lot of the German. Cleaned up a lot over there. Well, Conley, thank you for your service and what you did during yeah. your time in and Germany. And was uh, also the Cold War with Russia. Right. They expected him to come in take over West Germany. Thank you very much. Appreciate it. And there are so many people here uh, from all the, the conflicts that men and women have been involved in. Back to you, Bo and Tiersen. All right, Don, thank you very much. Uh, we appreciate it. And, you know, we've just been checking out the uh, Smoky Mountain Classic Thunderbird Club as they've been driving by. Oh, yes, we have. It is one of our favorite <laughs> entries in this parade. Absolutely beautiful vehicles that are coming through. Yeah, old and new. And uh, just, uh, again, amazing job and, and the commitment that a lot of these men and women make to, to restoring some of these older vehicles. That's we also great. saw the Smoky Mountain Blue Star Mothers. Yep. They made their way through as well. And Team RWB also uh, made their way through. We want to give them uh, a shout out as well. We appreciate them being here and taking part in the parade. Next, we got coming up the Fulton High School Junior ROTC. Again, a lot of these ROTC groups uh, taking part today in, in another large group. I was going to say, take a look at the size of, uh, of Fulton making their way through right now. Uh, beautiful bunch. I know you say not to say kids, but beautiful bunch of kids making their way through. <laughs> fine young individuals. I think I just dated myself by saying fine young individuals. <laughs> <laughs> I understand that one completely. Yeah, yeah. I think, Mike, Mike, maybe you kind of explain for a lot of people that maybe don't under, completely understand, but if you go to the ROTC in high school, where does that then take you? What, what, what is the goal then for a lot of these kids? For a lot of them, it is a good stepping stone for possibly going on to ROTC mm -hmm. at, uh, like, University of right. Tennessee or a bigger college, or even to as a step into the military. It gives them some basic training and understanding of military uh, history and laws and stuff that go on and how the military works, and it pre uh, prepares them for that step into the military. Sure, sure. And it kind of gives them a taste, too, to see if that is exactly the direction they right. want to go. Absolutely. Into, right? They set it up where they have, uh, like, your S-1, 2, 3, which is your logistics, uh, mm -hmm. personnel and admin and logistics and all that, so that they can actually start learning that and understand that, hey, stuff shows up and it happens, but right. how did it actually get there? You know, gotcha. the training and the preparation to do all that. Another band. I, it the looks Fulton like we got the band. yeah, the yeah. Fulton High School marching band. I know I've asked this every year. Do any one of you play instruments? The radio. The radio. <laughs> you know, I started out with piano lessons. Okay. And I, I, I dropped out. I said it wasn't okay. for me. Now both my children play piano beautifully. We should somehow work the piano into the marching band. Not sure how we do that. We have to push you along. With wheels, all things yeah, are possible. Kinda, yeah, yeah. That's true. We could we could work that. I haven't yet to see that, but we need to work on that one. I'm always fascinated by the conductor walking backwards throughout mm -hmm. these parades. They do a fantastic job. I'm always wondering who's looking out for them, but they just seem to they get it done.
Now they are followed by the Gibbs High School uh, Junior ROTC group. And again, this is another big group, as you'll see right here as they walk by. I mean, uh, just a, a good looking group, a large group. It's a beautiful day in downtown Knoxville. We hope you are enjoying so far what you've seen at the 94th Veterans Day Parade here in Knoxville, Tennessee. We're going to take a quick break and we'll be back with so much more. Dolly Parton, legend, icon, but now it's Dolly. You feel like you can only stand so much heartache. As you've never seen. People always look at me, you know, they always say, oh, you just always seem to be so happy. I said, that's Botox. <laughs> From 9 to 5. That movie was, was ahead of its time. To Kenny Rogers. Oh. Oh. Islands in the street. There's only one Dolly. She is what the rest of us are trying to be. Dolly Parton, here she comes again. Tuesday night at 10, 9 central on ABC. Introducing Wendy's new Real Deals Value Menu with 15 items from $1 and up. So the next time you're craving something crispy the real deal. or cheesy yeah. or even frosty, yeah. try Wendy's Real Deals Value Menu today with 15 items starting at just $1 and up. Mike Davis here reminding you, dare to compare. I want to remind you that having maintenance is the number one thing you can do to keep your heating and air system running trouble free. When your system runs, it needs to be clean so it can cool efficiently. At City Heat and Air, our maintenance contract includes cleaning, 15% off repairs, and a 21-point inspection. If you need maintenance, give us a call. City Heat and Air, dare to compare. Introducing Wendy's new Real Deals Value Menu with 15 items from $1 and up. On. So the next time you're craving something crispy the real deal. or cheesy yeah. or even frosty, yeah. try Wendy's Real Deals Value Menu today with 15 items starting at just $1 and up. All right, welcome back, everyone, to the 94th Knoxville Veterans Day Parade. A beautiful day. Bo Williams, Tiersa Smith, Mike Testerman here joining us. Uh, just an absolute great, just a fantastic turnout. The sun is shining right now. We've seen some amazing folks go by. Uh, while we're in break, we have to give a shout out to the Korean War yeah. veterans. They made their way. Uh, the Greater Knoxville Chapter 93 of Korean War Veterans Association. Yeah, it's great to have them coming out here. And again, another group that you've, you, we need to take more time to, to talk to with them, yeah. learn their stories. Uh, we, we've heard the people talk about, you know, the, the Second World War, those veterans, they are they are getting on in years, that is for sure. We don't have as nearly as many of them left. Korean War veterans still have a good number of, uh, of them left with us, and obviously Vietnam as well, so a chance to really get out there and talk to them and get to learn a little bit more about their stories. But also we had Appalachian Jeeps Off-Road came through, Smoky Mountain Military Vehicle Club. We oh. saw them a little while ago. And the bells and bombshells The bells Tennessee. and bombshells. <laughs> I love this. Love the names. Making their way right now, the East Tennessee Military Association Federal Credit Union. I'd say they are proud to serve our military men and women and their families. And again, it's great to have them here today. Watching now uh, as the parade goes on, it's great to see some of the uh, veterans, especially the one that you see holding the American flag coming up here, shaking hands with yep. everyone as he makes his way down, especially young people, uh, some of the kids that have made their way out to the parade today. Captain Bill Robinson, Chapter 1078, Knoxville, Tennessee. Vietnam veterans, great to have them here. Absolutely. Like I say, that's a great group to get to yes. know and talk to, along with the Korean veterans, you know, just to learn more of their story. Yep. Reefs across America, uh, they have a, a, a float in the parade. They do great work every year to recognize those that have gone on, have sac given the ultimate sacrifice by laying a wreath at their tomb. Also, the Fleet Reserve Association branch in Unit 194, right here out of Knoxville. And right now you're taking a look at it. Is this the Roughnecks? I believe that's this the is the Roughnecks. I believe that's the Roughnecks. Th these are public safety and law enforcement motorcycle club enthusiasts. Um, they are revving their engines. Gotta love it. I would say don't mess with them, but I think they probably just give you a ticket if you did. Yeah. So. <laughs> Now we have some combat veterans yep. from all different branches. 
If you're wondering, it's his combat veterans, Tennessee 18 3. The 18 is for Tennessee, the 3 is for the third chapter in the state, is how that's broken down, right? Yes. Okay. Correct. If you got a motorcycle and like. If you got a motorcycle and like to ride, come out and visit with them. Guys. I was gonna say, guys guys they them. will welcome you with open arms, yes, that absolutely. is for sure. Our own veteran Don Dare is standing by, uh, talking to people along the sidelines. Let's send things over to him. Hey, Don. I had three people here today, women. They're, they're running away. These are Knox County employees, and let's go down here. Let's go down here. They're running away from me. What is your name? My name is Megan Moore. And why are you out here today, Megan? I am out here today. Um, my grandfather was in the Navy, and also my husband just commissioned with the Navy. With the Navy? And yes. Why did he want to join the Navy? Um, he just thought it was going to be a really great way that he could help people, help his country. Serve his country. Absolutely. And what do you yes, think of sir. that? Yes, sir. I think it's amazing. I'm so proud of him. We have always, always supported the military. And now I feel like I have even more of a connection to it. Yeah, and here you are today. Here I am. Supporting all of those millions of men and women who served. They deserve it. They deserve all of our support. Every ounce that we can give, they deserve it all. Thank you for being here. Thank you so much. A lot of appreciative people of the service of so many men and women uh, over the last 70, 75 years. You know, fewer and fewer World War II veterans. I heard you talking about it just a few moments ago. 16 million men and women served during World War II. Today, there are under 400,000 serving uh, who are still alive right now of those World War II veterans. So if you see a World War II veteran, tell him, tell her, thank you for their service. Back to you, Bo and Tiersen. All right, Don, thank you very much. Right now, taking a look at the crew from Denzo making their way down Gay Street. Or the big auto support, oh, maker of auto parts and supplies. Good to have them, especially with all these older cars. I wonder if they could just whip out something in case, you know, one of these older cars breaks Let's down. Get some spare parts <laughs> exactly. In the back there with just, them. you know, uh, make a quick change out. <laughs> Great group of guys there. Yeah. Sharon Baptist Church. Established in 1871. My goodness. Yeah. How wonderful is that? I love to see the smiles on the faces of all those veterans that are uh, on the back of these floats smiling and waving. And uh, like we have to say, get a little shine. They're getting a little shine right now. That's yes, their great welcome home to bring them home each yeah. year. Yep. You know, we always, you see the parade, you see everyone lining up on a day like today to, to say thank you. But really, this is something that should go 365 days a that's year. That's right. It really yeah. should. And that's something that we try to do and, you know, welcome our veterans sure. home and anything that we can service them with and try to help with. Oh, I love this one. Once again, it's that horn we like, Bo. <laughs> Tennessee Valley Model A Club. Yeah, these are, uh, what, 1929 to 1931 models. And again, the very distinctive horn. This group founded in 2010 if I'm not mistaken. But uh, again, uh, just amazing when you look at the job that they have done in restoring these vehicles. That's right. I love the fact that none of the vehicles have air conditioning. You see them riding down the street, those windows are down, <laughs> but a smile is on their face because this is their classic car. Yep. And thankfully on a day like today, you don't need that AC. Don't need That's the right. AC. <laughs> Most all those have also been restored to their original condition, not yeah. the hot rod version of it. Right. right. Back no. to the original condition. And a lot of them, too, I noticed they, they, they have put uh, a sign on the side to say what branch or, or maybe what conflict that they served in. And, and I think that's great to help identify who's behind the wheel or who's riding in those vehicles. Behind them, they're going to go from the Model A Club to the Muscle Car Ministries. I love this. They're a group of believers in Jesus that spread the word of God the fastest way they know how, and that's with their Muscle Car Ministry. Seeing a Mustang. I'm seeing quite a few. I feel like I'm car shopping every year at this parade. <laughs> Beautiful vehicles. But it is a, uh, it's unique. Yeah. But it is, it is, is a great idea to reach out to, to different groups as far as spreading your message, but at the same time sharing something. And obviously they all have a common uh, love for, for muscle cars. Bond yeah. over what you love and you take go. it to the next That's level. It. Hey, let's send things over to Michael Wanker, Doug Curran, who's out on the parade route talking to uh, parade goers. Hey, Doug. 
Hey, Tirsa. Hey, Bo. We're on the parade route. We're just up from the Coliseum where the things have not reached you quite yet, but there's going to be a very nice Corvette club on the way. You want to keep an eye out for that. In the meantime, you don't want to forget it's not just cars. It's the people who are in these cars, the chief warrant officers, the private first class, all the veterans who are in these cars and on these bikes who mean so much to Veterans Day. We want to go ahead and take uh, talk to one of my friends here that we've made, an Air Force veteran. Sir, your name? Gary Chambers. Thanks so much for being here today. Why did you want to come out today? I always support the veterans, everything we can do for them. You know, my, my wife's in the DAR, so she's in the parade today. And if, uh, if I wasn't sitting here, I'd be driving her myself. Tell me a little bit about the kids today who don't know as much about Veterans and Veterans Day and what they've done, especially dating back to World War II. What would you want to teach them? I would like to see the draft reinstated and see more, more young people get involved in the military, even in ROTC in high school or college. I think it would make a big difference and introduce them to what real life is all about. All right, sir. Thank you very much for your time. Thank you for your service. Thank you. All right, Bo Tirsa, we'll send it back to you. All right, thank you so much, uh, Doug. Uh, we have been having a wonderful time. The East Tennessee Bucketeers just got through uh, making their way. This is their eighth year that they've marched in this parade. It's awesome to see them out there playing their buckets and riding on the float this year. It's it, awesome. And what I love is they describe themselves as a group of special bucket drummers and a noisy bagpiper. Yeah. There you go. <laughs> Perfect description. Yeah. Uh-oh, little oh. red Corvette. I see what I see, the East uh, Tennessee Corvette Club. Pick the one out you like. Blue, red. Oh, red. Absolutely. I like that blue one. That's and these are, nice. Oh, they're smooth. And these are all veterans uh, right here in East Tennessee, their chapter. You have some 400 active members in this group. Uh, this club was founded in 1958. Just a huge, huge group. Corvettes, of course, built in Bowling Green, Kentucky. It is a true American sports car. Why are you looking at me like that? <laughs> I love all the research you did on all these vehicles. <laughs> it was created to compete with the European sports cars of the day. I'm going to say they achieved their mission. Oh, absolutely. Still doing it. Look yeah, at these vehicles. It's a beautiful oh. car. I don't care what year, what make, it is, they're all fantastic. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Yeah. Love the contrast that we have between the older ones and mm -hmm. the new ones. Right. Very fascinating. And then, and then throw in the military vehicles uh, for good yeah. measure. There you go. And again, that was the East Tennessee Corvette Club that you just saw uh, uh, heading down Gay Street. And then we're going to switch it up just a little bit here as the next round of uh, vehicles make their way through. Yeah. Jeepers Creepers. They say it's the art of getting dirty and going broke while slowly heading nowhere and taking all day to do it. That's one of the things I pulled off their web website that I loved. <laughs> That's like the motto to life at times. Yeah. But these are wonderful. I yeah. mean, these are all uh, Wrangler driven and owned by veterans, and that's why they're out here today. And we should say each of those Jeeps are, are packed. I know. With, with veterans, family members. You see a lot of the POW flags here uh, throughout the parade, and, and it's always um, a, a wonderful thing to remember those who are not able to be here today yep. uh, for this parade. Uh, the POW MIA. Right. Yeah. right. We had a great event on Saturday, the placing of the flags out at John Severe Veterans Cemetery, and uh, had about 70 people come out, family and friends and uh, young people. They got to come out, the young Marines were there and helped place the flags and a lot of the ROTC units. And just an awesome event to take wow. that remembrance for that time period. It's a lot of heartbreak to be a part of that club. It's a lot of heartbreak if that's your family member. Cliff coming through is the West High School, Naval Junior ROTC. Looking good. And again, this is one of the larger groups. Um, I know, Mike, you were talking about West High School, and, and, and you were saying not long ago that wasn't that, they didn't know they were going to have one. Absolutely. And, and now look at them. Yeah, they're growing leaps and bounds. Uh, they went from roughly, you have to have at least 120 to have a ROTC. Right. They were a Naval Cadet Center, and now that they've received their ROTC status and maintained it very well. Now, even if you don't go on to the military after um, being a part of one of these groups, it's still just good life training, right? Absolutely. It's a great start. gives you 
a lot of balance, a lot of leadership skills, a lot of things that you'll be dealing with in a regular right. life. Uh -huh. Right. And obviously this looks good, whether you're trying to get into college or what have oh, you. Yeah. I mean, having that and having that regiment that you've gone through. Right behind them, West High School Marching Band. And again, you just heard the West High School band uh, taking us to break right now. They sound wonderful. We've got much more with the 94, uh, 94th Annual Veterans Day Parade here in Knoxville. We'll be right back. Mike Davis here reminding you, dare to compare. I want to remind you that having maintenance is the number one thing you can do to keep your heating and air system running trouble free. When your system runs, it needs to be clean so it can cool efficiently. At City Heat and Air, our maintenance contract includes cleaning, 15% off repairs, and a 21-point inspection. If you need maintenance, give us a call. City Heat and Air, dare to compare. You stayed awake so we could sleep. You fought so we wouldn't have to. You gave your life so that we could live. This Veterans Day, Ingalls is honored to offer 10% off to all veterans. Something smells good. Thank you for your great service to the people of this nation. Ingalls, honoring the heroes of the past and present. Regal and WATE 6 on your side want to say thank you to the men and women serving our country. We salute you for defending our freedom. Your sense of duty is the backbone of America. This message brought to you by Operation Honor Guard. Wrestling with a design debacle in your house? Email Living East Tennessee your problem and let the Knoxville Wholesale Furniture Design Center help. Your design question could be answered on the show. Any problem, any room, email us your question today. And welcome back, everyone, to a beautiful day in downtown Knoxville. We are bringing you live the 94th Knoxville Veterans Day Parade. And what a spectacular day it has been. Huge crowds here along Gay Street. And we're so happy you're taking some time to join us. Bo Williams, Tirsa Smith, Mike Testerman joining you right now, bringing you all the action, all the information, kind of behind the scenes, if you will. Don Dare's here, Doug Kern as well, kind of working uh, the parade route to That's kind of right. talk with a number of the veterans and, and those that are just in attendance to watch today. It has been a picture-perfect day. You couldn't pay for weather like what yeah. we're seeing. Beautiful turnout from the city of Knoxville. While we're in break, the Knoxville Utilities Board, they had a yep. vote that went by. Um, great to see some of our local utilities and local businesses supporting yep. this parade. Mike, as a veteran, first of all, thank you. Thank you uh, for all of it. your service. And also for me, a member of American Legion Post 2, which does so much work to make sure that this happens. Yes. Um, but when you see all of this as a veteran, I mean, the, the, the number of people, Knoxville always seems to come out and support its veterans. Knoxville does. It has been one of the most supportive cities around that I've ever seen with, yeah. with our veterans. We do a lot for them. The city does a lot for them. And uh, just the community in itself shows up and supports our veterans. Now, just a moment ago, the Patriot Guard Riders made their way through. The Patriot Guard Riders are a nationwide organization uh, at the family's request. They attend those funerals of fallen uh, soldiers. They go out and do those last uh, that last ceremony. Right. Uh, and it's just such a it's a beautiful group what they do. Do a lot of escort missions, bringing yep. right. escorting to the cemeteries and things like that, and, and uh, posting flag lines. You saw a moment ago uh, World War II airborne reenactors. Which, which is really wow. something to see uh, right. when they come down through here. And they are completely dressed as a number of those airborne troops were back in the, uh, during the Second World War in Europe. And uh, it really was really cool to watch them come through here. Making their way right now, the Knox County Democratic Party. They've got two convertible cars decorated in patriotic colors. Also carrying a number of cutouts of, of former Democrats who served in the military. Saw one of former President Kennedy just a moment ago. Yeah. And also they have uh, Harriet Tubman, Union Army, as a spy, showing her work as well. Next we have the Christian Motorcyclist Association. They should be making their way through here soon. Right. <laughs> 
Coming up right behind the Knox County Democrats, you can still see quite a huge turnout right. from that organization. But again, the Christian Motorcycles Association coming up. And then Claiborne Hauling also here as well. And every year they come through and they have those oh. trucks decked out with the flags and the eagles, which is always great. You'll see them around town as well, but it's great to have them part of the parade. Never seen Hauling look so beautiful. They absolutely <laughs> do a great <laughs> job with those trucks. You'll see them going down the interstate right. and everybody runs by them and looks at them and right, they take pictures. Right. It's a beautiful sight. How is it, Mike, as far as the preparations for this parade? I mean, is it start tomorrow? I mean, or, or uh, I'm, I'm assuming you, you're getting inquiries year round. People, oh, yeah. how do I take part? How do I get a part? Absolutely, of this? we'll give it about uh, probably about a week, and then we'll sit down and yeah. have an after action review with it, and see first things that we need to change, fix, uh, and we start getting ready. And then about September, we open up for the lineup and start lining wow. it up right. again. Man. And I tell you, this is a huge lineup this year. It seems like each year there's more and more entries. Absolutely. With the nice weather like this, I think we've ended up with over 120 plus. Wow. Oh, wow. That's fantastic. Next, you have the Military Order, Purple Heart, Chapter 356. Explain a little bit about the Purple Heart, Mike. That's, uh, you have to be wounded in combat or in a combat situation to be awarded the Purple Heart, and that's, uh, a lot of times it is a fatal wound, and they wow. are, are awarded that uh, posthumously. But uh, that's one of those clubs you really don't want to be in. Right, right. So uh, hats off to the gentlemen that are with it and uh, gentlemen and ladies that but, have gone through that. But the, for those families, obviously it means quite a bit, though. Right. Absolutely. Are, yeah. uh, to be recognized. Hey, Miss Knoxville Volunteer 2020. There we go. Right in the Thunderbird. Yes. Coming up behind them, Morning Point, Knoxville. Another of our number of uh, assisted living in the area, and, and a number of these assisted livings uh, obviously uh, catered to a number of veterans as well that live there, and, and this is one of their transport uh, buses that they use to help get them to where they need to be so they can still get out and get about and be a part of the community. And, and from what I understand, they have a 92-year-old uh, World War II veteran on board this morning. Oh, really? Wow. Yes. And now this is a wonderful group that's coming up right now, Heroes and Horses. Uh, it's called STAR, Shangri-La Therapeutic Ac uh, Academy of Riding. And basically what they do is they help those uh, combat veterans, veterans uh, who may be having uh, uh, PTSD or whatever issues going on. This is therapeutic riding or walking, depending on what they need. And we had talked about that earlier when we saw the, the therapeutic dogs come through right. as well. You know, I mean, they, they, both of these groups do so much. And, and, and a while back, who would have thought that, that this was what they would need to That's help right. them absolutely but it's like between the dogs and the horses you know they understand yes yeah. you know they both have that relationship and it's just been a phenomenal thing to see yeah it really has been and it continues to grow as well so yeah, fantastic wivk we see them coming through as well with the uh, the frog there yes and, uh, yes good to have them on board wibbick every year Send things over now to Don Dare, who is standing by on the sidelines right now uh, with more from how people are reacting to this parade. Don? Well, Tiersa and Bo, we are on the other end of this beautiful Gay Street in this parade. And what is really enjoyable is to see all the high school bands and all the children who are lined up along the parade route here. Oftentimes when we see someone in uniform or we, someone, or we see someone that wears a veteran's hat, we say thank you for your service. And with me right now is MacArthur Douglas, not Douglas, MacArthur, and you served in the Air Force during the 80s? 1980 to 1986. And what do you think of what you see here today with all these young people? I love it. You need to start young, teach them how to respect the flag and their country and the people who basically keep it safe for them. And you did that in a wonderful manner in the Air Force. I know you were all yes. over the world. Pretty much, yes. 
and here we have a young person standing right next to you, <laughs> and even a younger person, Miles, and, and Anna, you're out here, and why? I'm out here because I just feel like it's important for our kids to know what the sacrifices that are made for them to live in a free country. My son has a great appreciation for veterans and those in service and hopes to serve one day. So I got him out of school today for this amazing occasion. Well, we're not going to tell anybody, Miles, okay? But uh, maybe some your teacher might say, what do you think of, of all these veterans in this parade? I really think it's just like really cool and I'd like to be with like one of them someday. Why do you want to be in the service? Because I think it's really cool and I'd like to like just serve for people. You like to serve people, and that's what this is all about, isn't it? Yes, yes. Service to country. Right. And today we're getting that opportunity to, to honor all of those men and women who served uh, from so many different uh, conflicts over so many different years, what, going back to the early 40s, as we heard earlier with the 92 World War II veteran. Back to you, Bo and Tiersen. All right, thank you so much, Don. And joining us right now is our mayor-elect for the city of Knoxville, India Kincannon. So wonderful to welcome you to your first Veterans Day parade as our mayor-elect. Thank you. I'm really glad to be here to honor our veterans. What do you think of today's turnout and what you've seen so far? Well, it's a huge crowd, and the weather could not be any better. Uh, I love seeing all the veterans in the parade, and I'm especially a big fan of our marching bands from all the different schools in the city, and uh, it's a beautiful day. Do you have a different perspective uh, today other than previous times? I've seen you at this parade before, but is it a different perspective for you today? It's a little different perspective for sure. I'm enjoying uh, roaming through the crowd and uh, meeting people who are veterans and thanking them for their service. And there are many veterans who work for the city of Knoxville, so that's, that's uh, good for me to appreciate uh, all the police and firefighters and public service members who uh, served in the military before they joined the city. So that's a great thing to have. Absolutely. This year we actually have some sunshine. Last year we had pouring down rain and cold uh -huh. weather. Um, so it's so great to see so many a lot of the uh, city offices are closed and you're seeing a lot of people that you'll be working with That's over right. the next few years out here today absolutely and i definitely support all our veterans whether they work for the city or just are members of this community uh we owe them our life and liberty and the right to vote and everything else so uh, i'm incredibly grateful for their service thank you so much for joining us and again Absolutely. mary like india can can joining us right now all right at this time i believe we want to send things over now to Lori tucker uh, for a little bit on the support that this parade receives and the veterans that will benefit from the support. Uh, she's got a, a check presentation to, to tell us all about. Hi guys, I am with five people who represent such an important part of Veterans Day, and that's our area honor guards. Remember last month, so many of you in East Tennessee took part in Operation Honor Guard, our day of giving. You drove by, you came by the station, you drove by our drop-off sites and donated to help our honor guards who operate really uh, out of their own funds, and they have for many years, but now, thank goodness, our community is helping you in a very big way. With me is Steve Holt who is with the Veterans Military Honor Guard of Pigeon Forge. Tell us how you're going to use these funds. We are going to be able to get our van. A van enables you to store your, uh, the things you need. Mm -hmm. Each group has different needs mm -hmm. and uh, uniforms, various other supplies. Or, or, or somebody has to pay for them, and this helps us do that. That's true. Uh, give us a, an example of what a uniform costs. Depends on which branch of service. Mm -hmm. In our case, our, uh, the Marine Corps is the most expensive uniform. Mm -hmm. You're talking about somewhere between 700 and more than a thousand. And that's been coming out of your own pockets. Uh, yeah. Wow. Okay. This is going to be really helpful. Uh, let's take a look now and see what the total is from our day of giving. Thanks to you in East Tennessee. Here we go. Look at this. This is the best yet, everyone. Sixty-four thousand one hundred thirty-one dollars for our area honor guards. How do you feel about that? Outstanding. Well deserved. Uh, hope so. Absolutely. Thank you, East Tennessee. Oh, 64, over $64,000. Again, we couldn't have done it without all of you. So again, thank That's you right. so many of you that stopped by, dropped some money off at all those drop-off locations, or went online this year. We opened that up That's for right. you as well. Had the phone bank. So again, we appreciate everybody. We just had the Carter High School band go by. They sounded absolutely fantastic. Also, Carnes High School, Air Force, Junior ROTC. And again, I know we've said it every time, but a huge group. Uh, it is. You know? And again, they keep growing. That's great to see.
Oh, I love that the, when you first hear those engines, you know something <laughs> big's a coming. Mm -hmm. Get ready. The CAP going through the Central Civil Air Patrol. Helping cadets age 12 and up to learn leadership, aerospace, community service, and physical fitness. Knoxville Composite Squadron, Civil Air Patrol. Behind them is the Line Support Tennessee. Thin, thin Line Thin support. Line, I'm sorry. Mm -hmm. Thin Line Support Tennessee. And this group is designed especially for supporting uh, our family, our brothers, and our sisters. That's what they say. The ones still walking the thin line between good and evil. You can see them coming up there. Austin East Magnet High School, Junior ROTC. Good looking group there. Doug Curran out. He's toward the beginning of the parade route. Let's check back with him right now. Hey, Bo. Hey, Tirsa. We, uh, we're kind of out of breath. I'm not going to lie to you. <laughs> We've been walking this parade and catching up with my friend here. How are you, sir? I'm doing great, thank you. Air Force vet. Air Force veteran, yes. We're doing um, 67 to 71. And what made you want to come out today? Because I'm an Air Force vet and I love our country. And what do you want the kids to know about today? I want the kids to think about serving their country, about what a great country we're in. Uh, the freedoms that we have didn't come without a price. Many paid a lot more than I did, but uh, I, I'm thankful for every one of them. And we hear a lot of motorcycles and cars out here. They say it's the sound of freedom, they would say. Amen. I wish it was on my motorcycle, but I'm hiking it today. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we're out of breath. All right, Bo and Tirsa, we'll get it back to you. All right, thank you so much, Doug. Austin Eats Magnet High School, they just got through making their way, and oh, I'm getting hungry now. We're talking cookout <laughs> restaurants. They need to be throwing uh, hamburgers Burgers, or yeah. fries or something, or shakes, right, exactly. <laughs> well, there's a shake behind it there, so there you go. Yeah. There's your shake. <laughs> At least the shake with us. Yeah. Yeah, we got uh, more of cookout. They're kind of spread out here just a little bit, but you can see another large truck that they're bringing down the down Gay Street here along the parade route, and their boat as well. That's a nice setup right there. <laughs> All right, next we got a little classic rock making their way mm -hmm. here. 103.5 WIMZ Radio. That's right. John Boy and Billy. Billy Kid also. <laughs> TK and the whole crew. Look at you. Well, if there is someone who knows classic rock music, <laughs> I don't even know why I was thinking being surprised by that. He doesn't mean karaoke, and that's all I'm going to uh -oh. say. You don't want me singing karaoke. Maybe only in my car. <laughs> yeah. That's the only time you'll hear me Put sing. Put the windows up. <laughs> that's right. Mike, you know me too well. <laughs> Oak Ridge High School, Naval Junior ROTC. Another great showing from yep. one of our Junior ROTC groups. All the different flags. Maybe ROTC representing all the flags for us today. Yep. Next up, we have Pellissippi State Community College. They do a lot with our veterans uh, as far as getting them back into the workforce if they need to go back, uh, whether it's uh, more education that they need, right. a certain field, uh, getting a certain certificate. Uh, they really reach out to the veterans in, in our area. They've really developed a great veterans yeah. program down there and uh, really helping a lot of veterans get back into, back into the civilian life of it. Right, exactly. So a job well done by them. And of course, they've been around this area for a long time. Oh, yeah. Yep. And again, just a great day for these groups. Last year, they were sprinting through here, if we recall, because of the rain, just how cold it was. Oh, my goodness. Last couple years, it's been pretty cold. This is really one of the warmer Veterans Day parades that I can remember. Quite a while. Yeah. Now, good thing it's not tomorrow. <laughs> I think we got lucky. <laughs> we did. Absolutely. By one day. By one day.
Farragut. Yep, Farragut, Farragut High Marching School. Marching Band coming up soon here. See the Admirals getting ready to come through. I love to hear everybody cheering for their own personal uh, school. Whoever's in their neighborhood, that's who you kind of cheer a little bit louder for. But all the groups looking fantastic today. Yes, we noticed you got very excited when Hardin Valley came through. I, I wasn't going to mention that, okay. but go Hawks. I mean, <laughs> go Hawks. <laughs> I know you're not talking. Go Bearden. So there's that. <laughs> <laughs> But it is great to have all these groups. Oh goodness, like yes. we said, they work so hard. I mean, a lot of these bands, um, when it's you know, we think about football at halftime, but they're out competing in different tournaments and all across the state or the region. A uh, number of these bands have won a lot of awards, That's right. and so it's great to have them here and all the hard work they do. Here's a chance for them to show it off a little bit. So, the largest turnout of bands that we've had in several oh, years. Yeah. Is it really? Yes. Okay. I know you were saying we've had eight, uh, so they signed up for this year, so that's great. Well, right now we want to take a moment, we want to toss to our own Don Dare. He's out along the parade route as well as, again, you see the Farragut Marching Band marching by. Thank you, neighbors. Thank you for serving. Well, this is the way to travel, Bo and Tirsa, on a float. Thank goodness we started about a, oh, about 10 miles Here down that way. And with Jeff. me, we have Army and FBA. Navy. And, and uh, Chuck, Riders. you served Motorized. in the Army for 22 Unit. years. How many years in Vietnam? Three tours. Did you get a reception like this when you came home? Absolutely today? not. So what do you think of this? Wonderful, beautiful. Thank you. Thank you for your service. The guy next to you is Davey. Is he okay? He's a good man. Good man. What do you think of this manual? This is wonderful. This is outstanding. Why is it outstanding to you? Because we didn't get this. And it still hurts. But today they're saying thank you, aren't they? In big numbers. Yep, yep. In big numbers. And the young lady you're sitting next to is the wife of a veteran. Lori, tell me about that. Well, I spent 16 years following him around the world. So this is, this is really nice for them. And you're proud of him? Very proud of him. And he is an Army guy. Yeah, Army retired, first sergeant. And uh, it's just great to see everybody out here showing their respect and showing their appreciation for our veterans from the past up until now. Those who currently serve and those who have served in the past. This is, this is outstanding. Well, First Sergeant, thank you for your service. Thank you for being with him all those years. Manuel in the Navy sure. and Chuck in the Army. And, and that's what this is all about. It's, it's about saying thank you to these men and women as well as their spouses who stood by their husbands and those who, women who stood by uh, their, uh, and those men who stood by their wives who were also in the service. A great day on Veterans Day. Back to you, Bo and Tiersen. All right, thank you, Don. And again, uh, just an amazing turnout. And it's great to hear Don and, and hear some of the stories that, that he's learning and, and getting from some of these veterans and these those that are just turned out to, to watch the parade today, just Absolutely. their thoughts and feelings. So uh, again, you see Covenant coming by right now saying thank you to everyone. We've had a number of groups. Saw the American right. Red Cross come by just a moment ago. Saw, saw them go by. The Clinch Bend Daughters of the American Revolution also made their way as well as the uh, Ke Kebla Temple 78, Prince Hall Shriners. Corbella? Corbella. Yep. Right, those type of, I was like, I know it's Corbella. They have the little Cart, the go-karts, yeah. oh, yeah. uh, which is, I'm always jealous. <laughs> yeah. I think that would be great to do, especially in a parade. Yeah. William Blunt coming through. Yep, William Blunt, great to have their ROTC program, junior ROTC program here. This is their uh, Air Force. Yep. Yep. 25 to 30 cadets is what we understand. Yeah. We're going to take a quick break. You're watching the 94th annual Knoxville Veterans Day Parade. Keep it tuned right here. We'll be back with more in just a moment. Mike Davis here reminding you, dare to compare. I want to remind you that having maintenance is the number one thing you can do to keep your heating and air system running trouble free. When your system runs, it needs to be clean so it can cool efficiently. At City Heat and Air, our maintenance contract includes cleaning, 15% off repairs, and a 21-point inspection. 
If you need maintenance, give us a call. City Heat and Air, dare to compare. You served, you sacrificed, you've shown your love for your country. And at South College, we want to show our gratitude by helping you get the quality education you deserve. Programs are offered both online and on campus. Visit south.edu today to learn more about our programs for veterans, like the Yellow Ribbon Program and our military grant, so you can share in the American dream that you fought so hard to protect. South College, where dreams find direction. You stayed awake so we could sleep. You fought so we wouldn't have to. You gave your life so that we could live. This Veterans Day, Ingalls is honored to offer 10% off to all veterans. Thank you for your great service to the people of this nation. Ingalls, honoring the heroes of the past and present. And welcome back to downtown Knoxville for the 94th annual Veterans Day Parade. Getting toward the end of the parade right now. Matter of fact, starting to wrap up in some locations, but it has been fantastic. We just saw a number of groups come through. Absolutely. The Andrew Bogle NSDAR, Covenant Home Care, and American Legion Riders. That's right. American Legion Riders affiliated with American Legion Post 2. Yes, sir. That's our riders group. If you're uh, in, into motorcycle riding and a veteran, come on out and we'd be glad to have you. <laughs> uh, we've got a great group. We do a lot of rides during the summer. Right. And uh, just have a great time with it. Fantastic. Wow. All right, let's tell you what, we have more from here in Knoxville, so don't go anywhere. Keep it tuned right here. We're going to be right back after the break. You stayed awake so we could sleep. You fought so we wouldn't have to. You gave your life so that we could live. This Veterans Day, Ingalls is honored to offer 10% off to all veterans. Something smells good. Thank you for your great service to the people of this nation. Ingalls, honoring the heroes of the past and present. It's starting to happen every day. People are surprising themselves. The moment they realize they can do more with less asthma. Thanks to Dupixent, the add-on treatment for specific types of moderate to severe asthma. Dupixent isn't for sudden breathing problems. It can improve lung function for better breathing in as little as two weeks and help prevent severe asthma attacks. It's not a steroid, but can help reduce or eliminate oral steroids. Don't use if allergic to Dupixent. Serious allergic reactions can occur, including anaphylaxis, which is severe. Tell your doctor right away about signs of inflamed blood vessels, such as rash, shortness of breath, chest pain, tingling, or numbness in your limbs. Tell your doctor if you have a parasitic infection and before stopping any asthma medicines, including oral steroids. Do more with less asthma. Talk to your doctor about Dupixent. And welcome back, everyone, to a beautiful day. Can't say it enough in downtown Knoxville. It's been fantastic for the 94th Veterans Day Parade. Just wrapped up just a few moments ago. It has yeah. been a lovely day. People are out mingling at this time. And I know the parade kind of got started and really got, you know, into full gear. And we get, didn't get a chance to touch on the Grand Marshal yeah. of the parade. Uh, we're talking Captain Mark A. Brogan, uh, retired. He was wounded in combat. Yes, he was. And uh, severely wounded. Uh, Mark went through a lot of treatment and, and, uh, to get back to where he is now. And is just a fantastic guy. Has a great story. Uh, the gentleman that was with him was lost in the accident. It was a uh, vehicle-borne IED, and uh, Mark's been through a lot, but he's a super guy. I'm glad to sit down and talk to you. Yeah. Wow, so many stories. Like we talk about so many stories that you just don't know are peppered throughout this parade round Absolutely. of all these different veterans and what they went through. No doubt about it. And again, what you do at American Legion too, the post there, uh, fantastic job. I mean, looking back on, you got to digest this all still, but <laughs> what a fantastic parade today. Yeah, it turned out great. Had a lot of participants. Glad everybody showed up. Uh, we're looking forward to next year already. We'll start getting it together and uh, looking forward to, uh, we're in the process of building a new post home oh, and uh, looking forward wow. as soon as we have it together. Love everybody to come out and visit with us as much as possible. Will do. Sounds oh, wow. great. Hey, we need to check in on Doug Curran. You know, he's been out along the parade route right now. He's got more for us right now. Let's go over to Doug. Hey guys, we are uh, about Clinch and Gay Street right now where things are starting to get cleared up. Uh, people are making their way back to their cars, back to their homes. Lots of parents and kids with smiles on their faces. It really was a great uh, affair today. 
Although uh, many of the vets I talked to today were also saying that it's about the camaraderie that happens here today. It's not just about getting out here, being in the back of a car and honking the horn. It's about being with fellow veterans and other veterans who want to be here to represent the country and represent the freedom that we have today. Because as we all know, and I think we all can agree, is that freedom is not free. So as things, uh, as you can see down the street, they're lowering the flag down Gay Street. Uh, people are starting to clean up. We've got the crews here on the way. And uh, we, of course, will send it right back to Bo and Tiersa. It has been a wonderful parade out here on the route, on the sidelines, meeting wonderful people. All right, Doug, thank you very much. And again, they are starting now to lower that flag, as you saw, that's been hanging right. over the parade route right there uh, along Gay Street. Not too far from, uh, I'll give you a point of reference, Mass General. You know, if you have not come, especially bringing your kids out to see that, it's something to see Gay Street shut off, to see that beautiful flag that is just draped across uh, uh, the roadway, and for everybody to just kind of pause for a second right. uh, and just say thank you. It's, it's, it's different. To see that and to see, you know, the, the red, white, and blue flying like at the Stars and Stripes is an awesome sight to see, and especially one that big hanging out over the street like that is, <laughs> yeah. it's a very humbling sight to see, yeah. very Absolutely. proud sight. It is definitely quite the sight. Talk about the, the post again for a little bit, because we want to give some credit here to all the work you guys do. How many how many members are there? And, and, and kind of go through, for people that don't really understand what all American Legion Post does. Yeah. Right. <laughs> we're, the, we're those guys behind the scenes a lot of the times. Uh, American Legion Post, who was established back in July the 2nd, 1919. Mm -hmm. uh, our little joke is that Memphis beat us by five minutes. Uh, <laughs> they got their paperwork in there quicker than we did. Uh, but Post 2 has been around for a long time. We have a lot of great members. We have roughly 650 members. I was looking for more. We're trying to get and open up to the younger generation coming in, our Afghanistan and Iraqi veterans coming right. out now. As uh, long as you're a uh, member in good standing, uh, you have a good DD-214, we'd be glad to have you. And we're looking at, right now, we're working on a new post mm -hmm. uh, out off of Rutledge Pike. We have our tank out there, so we get a, a lot of people know where the tank is, right. so they come out and see the tank. Um, we're working on getting that new post built so that we'll have a place to service our veterans even better. Fantastic. Oh, thank you for all that you all yeah. do. I we mean, appreciate it. it and, uh, it's beautifully done. Here our yeah. post members have been out here since 7 o'clock this morning, lining up, working on the parade, making sure it goes as well as it did. And, and we should probably point out, we mentioned it earlier, obviously you're a veteran as well. You served in Iraq, if I'm not mistaken. Yes, sir. Is that two, right? Did two tours in Iraq. Two oh, tours. So tell us about your service. I was, um, luckily, I was uh, able to never fire a shot in anger over there. Uh, did a lot of maintenance and uh, Work with the logistics side of it. Our guys that needed parts and stuff, I was the guy that went and got them wow. and okay. uh, run a lot of that stuff down and made sure that uh, everybody had what they needed. And uh, worked with some great people over there. Uh, lost uh, some people here from East Tennessee that uh, you know we check on every day and go out and make sure there's flags under post. And right. uh, but it was a, a great tour and loved it. And um, Miss it. <laughs> oh. Retired and still miss it. Wish <laughs> still I was still it. there a lot well, of times. Well, you're still working today. Still working, you're still so, serving uh, in, in a capacity. And, uh, just enjoyed all the time that I did have with the in, in the military. And you said more and more, we're seeing more of the uh, the Rock War veterans coming as far as uh, signing up with the posts, uh, to taking part, giving right. back, kind of, kind of that that camaraderie. I have to think still absolutely. Brings that together. is one thing that brings us all together. We yeah. have a lot of gentlemen uh, from you know Korean era, on sure. through Vietnam and everything. They may not be able to get out and do a whole That's lot, right. but mm -hmm. they show up at the post meeting. They're yeah. glad to be there, and they do as much as they can. And with the younger people coming in, uh, the younger veterans coming in from Afghanistan and Iraq. It just brings us all together even more. We thank you so much. Yeah. Um, pleasure uh, to be here. We are so happy that you've been uh, with us since <laughs> 11 o'clock for this absolutely fantastic <laughs> Veterans Day parade. It has been a beautiful day, and we still have more news to cover for you. That's right. Uh, midday is going to be coming up at 1230, so be sure to stick around and stay tuned for that. We're going to have all the latest for you that's been happening. We'll also be talking more. We'll have some more highlights for you tonight. In case you missed all the parade, be sure to join us then on WAT 6 in your side news beginning at 4 o'clock and all the way through the evening. So we'll have everything for you there. To all of our veterans, we have yes. to say thank you so much for your service and your sacrifice and to all those families that also have been there by your side. Again, it's been the 94th Veterans Day Parade downtown Knoxville. We're so happy you joined us.